Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, we are still in the process of painting the Cardinal. Uh, I want to show you, I gave this Cardinal two coats of the mix that I said on the last uh, video. And I gave it a nice even coat all the way through. And then in the breast area, I used uh, more of the orange and the red, but straight on, right on there, and in, just into the uh, breast down into the rump, okay? So just to give you an idea, this is the color that we're trying to achieve for that area. Now, on the next go around, I'm going to try to get you to do uh, the bib for uh, the cardinal, as well as the mask that goes on the front. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So bear with me and I'll flip the camera around and we'll start working on that too. Okay, we're back at it again. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to show you uh, the area that I want to paint. Uh, this is all going to be which is helpful. And what I'm going to do is this area just underneath the beak. It comes around. And remember we, we burned this in fairly dark up in here. This was uh, what I call uh, the bib which is right in here, or the chin is what I call it. And I'm going to come right from this corner and I'm gonna flow down and just stay within that darkened area. And I think it was about an inch down, if I remember correctly, on the burning. So that's your limit. I mixed uh, some black up already and uh, I, uh, and it could be any black. It, uh, I'm using ivory black, but whatever you have available is fine. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just noticing this black is just, I'm, I'm trying to go a little heavier. So I'm going to get the black again. This is a uh, Liquitex. Uh, this is the ivory black. I'm gonna squirt out maybe a piece, uh, half a pea because I really don't need that much I got more out there than I probably need if I was teaching classes I would uh, say that um, I got enough for everybody just about I'm going to add a little bit of water just to loosen that up but you can see it's on the heavy side so I want to try to keep it to that consistency somewhat. And I'm gonna take most of the paint off the brush. In fact, I'm gonna rinse my brush out over in my container here. Take most of the paint out of there. And then I'm gonna pick this up and I'm going to start going at it again. And if you notice this should come out a little heavier. May not be, but we will give it a couple of coats and, and it'll definitely get black, black. And that's what we're looking for. We, you wanna come right up on to the beak, but I mean, right up to the beak, but not on the beak. So I'm trying to stay within that circled area, that curved area, and it's about one inch from the beak down. So just to give you a, a boundary. So picking up a little more black. I don't want, if you notice, the brush isn't fully loaded, so I can keep control of this. And I'm going to show you some things I want to do when we get to the end where 
the black meets the red, especially uh, as it goes on to the breast area here. So bear with me a second. I'm just trying to get a nice even coat and stay in control here. Notice I'm holding the bird again, which for me, I feel as though I have more control at times, even though I have that handle to hold the bird. Uh, when you're doing the overall body, uh, the, the handle is handy because you're putting a lot of washes, but when it comes to detailing. Now this is a number six brush, I believe, but uh, I, I like the pointed ones. Uh, more so than uh, the square, or it's what everybody's preference may be is is what you want to do. But I have my favorites here, and uh, I find uh, the talon brushes, which are inexpensive, uh, a good way to go. So I'm coming down to where it's going to lay on the breast. So. I'm going to rinse this brush out, get the paint off of that, and then just take that and let it sit. And then I'm going with a thinner brush. This is uh, about a number two. And I'm going to wet the brush. I'm going to come in with the paint on the end. And not so loaded, but it's it's got it on there. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I've got a glob in here. You can see it, I'm gonna take that off. Let me just get a little more paint. I'm gonna come down, and I'm just gonna try to get the point, I hope you can see this, where I'm trying to make it uneven, you know? feathers would lay on top of each other. I'm trying to give that illusion. So, um, I'm not trying to make it like you got a perfect loop in here. I'm trying to look at my straight line burn as a reference and I'm trying to stagger that. It gives you a real nice uh, look as if like it's real feathery. I'm picking up some heavy paint here, and I don't want that much on my brush. That was pretty heavy. So I'm going to come over here, and um, doing this area right up to what would be the mantle, and then also, excuse me, uh, we're going to come right on up into here where the mantle meets the head. Now, let me go in and just break up a little bit of that. And I'll get my pointed brush just to drag some uh, black paint into that. Like, oop, I missed some over here. I can see it. Let me get a little more. Okay. Hope I'm not going off screen like I've done before. Or off camera, I should say, not screen. I'm coming all the way around here. Now I could see the white still showing there. So, wow. Ooh. I didn't mix this as well as I should but I will do it this way. Take some off on my towel and then come back. And come through here. And I'm gonna, before I let it dry, I'm gonna give it like a second, what I call like heavy coat, just to see if I could Saturate the color into the piece. Now, I'm going to let that go. It's not, you can see the red still coming through, so we're not there yet. 
But what I want to do is show you the rest of, of this. And I'm going to come in around the eye. I'm going to lay some paint all around the eye, but real close, like, you know, where we put that membrane going around. I'm going to shoot straight down like this to the beak, like so, and I'm going to, uh, let's see if I got the right angle here, I'm going to take the black along the beak here and come up. And we're going to meet the beak right here. So from the bottom of the eye, um, moving upwards here. And, and then I'm going to come right across. Again, I'm painting the eye. So, but I'm not really going all the way, you know, I'm not letting that black spread all the way out. And I'm pulling it right up to the beak. Okay, I'm going to get a little more paint. And then I'm going to come over here. And turn this around so that I can come. Remember we burned a little bit onto to the beak. That's the show that the nostril is there. So that will project out. And this thing's coming across. Then we go across the top of the head, but we keep it in tight. We're only going out maybe an eighth of an inch right at the center of the head. I hope you can see that. I'm drifting again. I got a little bit of paint on the beak, but no big deal. And then I'm coming around to this side. And here's where we do this side. I'm going to go around the eye. Let me get a little more paint. You got to get this just at the right the way of mixing. It's not real watery. It's on the heavy side. And then it comes straight out. And then it comes up onto the beak. Like so. And then we keep it in tight here. About an eighth of an inch out from the beak in the corner here. If you get it on the beak, don't worry about it. I mean, we're trying to be as neat as possible. And uh, let me come over here and open that up. And I want to make sure everything gets blackened in there. So... That looks pretty good over here. I'm going to just open that up a little bit more. Come around here. Have this come across more. Like so. Trying to make both sides look exactly the same as far as the mask that goes on. Um, this should come up a little bit more. Right up and into there. Yeah. Water coming down into here. So there 
here's the mask. So we've surrounded the eye. And if you didn't get that covered well, just come back in with the paint right on the glass eye and then paint off of it onto the bird just so that you can make sure you get it. Now, I'm noticing that the mix I have isn't coating in one coat. So what we will do is uh, we will come back and give it a second coat. So uh, let me stop the video. And then what I'm going to do is take you on the next stage after this, but I will have the mask with uh, two coats of black. So it's got to be black, black. Okay, so uh, let me stop right at this point, and then I'll get back to you and show you on the next video uh, the how the mask should look finished, and then we'll do the beak, okay? So I uh, hope you got something out of this one as well. This is one more step in completing uh, the cardinal. And then uh, it'll we start hitting the, the beak, getting the color in. Uh, things will start looking like it shapes up. So uh, bear with me. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you would uh, subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that too. And we will take you through the journey of giving more paint onto the cardinal. Thank you very much.